This local woman turns to Coin6 after she says she lost thousands of dollars to a contractor who did shoddy work. Welcome to the special edition of Coin6 News. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Elizabeth Dinn. Thanks for being with us tonight. Well, the state tells us that contractor does not have a license. Our Dan Tilkin here with his Coin6 investigation into how this contractor he keeps working anyway without a license. You can imagine her frustration. Uh, state regulators know he's working without a license, but they have been able to stop him. This is a very, very, very small house. Mary Reif wanted to make life more comfortable, caring for her developmentally disabled nephew at her home in Marion County. She says work on the addition you see today is by a new contractor, after problems with the one who was originally hired to pour the foundation. They broke this section of the driveway. The front porch, they cut off a good six inches of it. This is what her yard looked like before. All of this damage that you see, this did not need to be excavated. It's just a muddy, gooey mess. She says the contractor set the forms for the cement foundation too wide, which meant she had to reorder floor joists and trusses for the roof. I said, you need to give me this money back. $14,000 is a lot of money to me. And he can't even say what he said to me. She's talking about this man, Bobby Reyes. This photo was taken by another unhappy customer. Mary is also talking about this woman, Joanne Bustinza. She and Bobby Reyes are seen together in these pictures taken by yet another customer who complained to state regulators. Mary showed us this contract she signed with Reyes and Bustinza in November. Mary says it's only when she complained to the Oregon Construction Contractors Board that she found out Bobby Reyes has never had a contractor's license. And Joanne Bustinza had her license suspended in December 2017. Mary continued to ask for her money back. And then the nasty text started. Those texts are pretty nasty. They're vile, absolutely vile. The text messages call her four letter words and direct the same sentiment towards the state. What's wrong with his work? Uh, I haven't seen any of it that was up to standards. Stan Jessup is the enforcement program manager with the Oregon Construction Contractors Board. He says Joanne Bustinza had a contractor's license under the name King Concrete. Jessup showed us the CCB's enforcement records that reveal Bustinza has $33,000 in unpaid debt. That is debt owed to homeowners in response to CCB complaints. She also has more than $12,000 in state enforcement debt, which are CCB issued penalties for violating contracting regulations. According to the CCB, both Bustinza and Reyes, together working as a partnership, have another $10,000 in fines for working without a license. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I tried calling Bobby Reyes and Joan Bustinza from Mary's house. I tried again several days later. Hey, Bobby, uh, my name is Dan Tilkin. I work for Coin TV Channel 6. We didn't hear back, so we went to their house in West Salem. We saw Bobby get in his truck and leave before we could talk to him. When I went to the door, no one answered, so I left this note. I texted Reyes and tried calling again, dialing multiple numbers. I'm actually outside your house uh, trying to reach you again. We've knocked on the door. We've tried calling them. We've tried following him to a job site and lost track of him. We'll keep trying for answers. They're still out there, still working, still taking uh, deposits and still doing substandard work. How's that possible? Well, our limit of ability to do anything with these unlicensed contractors is to find them. Uh, it is a, a Class A misdemeanor to work without a license, but not too many DAs are going to chase after a misdemeanor. So you've got to be angry. I'm furious. I'm furious. I am absolutely just bit freaking mad, and that's why I've gone through all these hoops to get as much attention as I can. These people need to stop. They have to stop, and the district attorney, I firmly believe, needs to look at these people really close. 
So the CCB has gone to the state legislature over the years asking them to increase penalties and contractor bonds, but they haven't had any luck. Now, to protect yourself, uh, we have links on how to check contractors' backgrounds in Oregon and Washington right now at coin.com. And the CCB says if you don't see information on a contractor online, call them, and Liz, they can take a deeper look. Dan, so people are obviously frustrated when they see this piece, and I can feel that woman's frustration. Uh, people need work on their homes. Now, what is your best piece of advice for those who need to choose a contractor? Well, my number one piece of advice is always ask a friend for a recommendation on a good contractor. In Mary's case, uh, she took the recommendation from another licensed contractor, and she assumed that Bobby Reyes had a license. Now, Liz, we have posted a link to her GoFundMe page if anybody is able to help her. Wow. All right, Dan, very helpful there. Thank you so much. And if you have an issue that you want us to investigate, give us a call at 503-464-0861. You can also just take a picture of the screen right now with your phone. You can also email us at reportit at coin.com.